It's coffee time! Hi guys! So today it is Friday night. Friday the uh, 2nd of August and I decided before I go on holidays it might be cool to make like a weekend vlog. I'm gonna try to read because this is my booktube channel so I'm supposed to be reading books um, and I'll try my best but I also have a lot to do so I also thought making a vlog is gonna push me also to get all of those things done and I'll be reading this weekend two different books. Let me show them to you. So first of all you guys chose on Twitter I started a poll for uh, four different books that were kind of summer read kind of romances so I wanted to read at least one before I start my holidays and you guys picked The Bright Test by Helen Huang so this is basically um, her second novel after her debut novel The Kissing The Kiss Quotient which I read last summer and I really enjoyed and so far I'm really enjoying this one as well um, so far it's cute and funny and also so far I'm liking the representation there is autism in this book and I am currently in page <clears throat> 54 and like I said really liking it and so glad that you guys picked this one because <laughs> I'm loving it and I cannot wait to keep on reading and see what happens with these two so let me tell you a little bit about the story if you don't know um, but you might have already heard me talking about this book um, it's basically a book in which um, our main character is a male uh, from Vietnam heritage that lives in the US and he has troubles uh, feeling and expressing feelings and you know communicating with people he has autism and his mom is worried that he's never gonna find a girlfriend and so she decides to you know basically find her one and she goes to Vietnam and she kind of makes a little casting and the, she finds this girl for him and she offers her the opportunity to spend a summer in the US and she's very poor and she decides to do it and see what happens and so they just met in, at the point that I am at and I'm absolutely loving the story so far the other book that I'm gonna be reading is The Diviners by Liva Bray and this book I always saw it in people's videos, especially the first edition hardcover that was so pretty and then they decided to change the cover two more times because why not mess up with people's OCD and so um, this is a series that I believe it's ending at the beginning of next year so a group of great booktubers decided to make a read-along that starts on the 3rd of August which is tomorrow Saturday and I decided to join because it's a book that I thought always the premise might be something for me but I've never uh, got the books or started reading them they are kind of chunky books this one is nearly 500 pages but I decided, you know, now it's my time. There's a read-along with all of these great booktubers. So let's do it. Let's read all the series together. Um, so I'm really excited. It is based in the 1920s. And it's kind of like a supernatural story in which there is the diviners who were people that were considered to have like special powers or gifts. And our main character is a girl that she's very stubborn, she has her own mind and because of the way that she talks um, she has to be sent to her uncle uh, because uh, she has kind of offended an important family. And uh, her uncle uh, is being called to investigate some murders and then she kind of gets involved in that. Um, and she herself has a gift which is when she touches something she can know things about the owner of that object um, so it's pretty interesting and it reads pretty quickly I started it today as well I know it's a little bit cheating because we're supposed to start tomorrow but um, I'm a person that has a very busy life so I thought having at least one day ahead might help me to finish with everybody else so yeah so far really liking this one as well so right now it's Friday night it's already 9 p.m. it's late I'm done for the week I'm exhausted from the whole week and so I think the plan is going to be just to watch a movie um, one of those movies that you don't mind if you fall asleep to you know one of those movies to just pass out and it's fine um, maybe I'll try to read a little bit we will see 
and yeah the plan is the weekend to be very productive when it comes to my two youtube channels because there's a lot that i want to do before i leave on holidays obviously and also to read a little bit so we will see how that goes um but yeah i thought i will take you with you i will take you with me um to show you how my weekend goes good morning guys i just woke up and i look very tired but you know that's life especially saturday mornings are hard um it is currently 7 a.m and i woke up early so i can go to the gym which i'm slowly getting back into after the holidays and being sick um and so i'm gonna make it a quick session and then i'm gonna go get groceries and come back home for the weekend um so yesterday i managed to watch a movie <laughs> and not pass out <laughs> i watched pitch black and i had never watched that movie i never thought i was gonna watch that movie because i'm not a fan of movies that are all completely musicals except um the rocky horror picture show which i adore i'm not such a huge fan of a movie that it's all the time just singing but i was pleasantly surprised i decided to give it a go because i know it's very popular and i do love anna kendrick and so i was like you know what i'm gonna give it a go it's here on netflix it's free whatever let's do it and I actually ended up liking it more than I thought because it also gave me some 90s comedy vibes that I appreciated um, and it kind of made fun of itself in a way as well so I kind of ended up liking it um, and then I read a couple more pages of the bright test before I passed out so that was my night last night and now let's go get ready for the gym groceries and I'll see you after that it is 10 30 a.m. I went to the gym I went to do groceries and now I'm back home and it's time for some coffee because I still have had no coffee today and we need to change that so it is officially coffee time and I think I'm gonna try to edit a couple of YouTube videos I had an issue with the video that was supposed to go up yesterday night on Friday my regular upload schedule for my booktube channel is Tuesdays and Fridays I always upload them around 10 p.m. here in Germany time and yesterday I was just making the last touches you know adding the last kind of um, the thumbnail and adding the title and I realized that the video was a little bit too short and I tested it out and apparently it didn't export correctly I tried to export the file again and it didn't work so I'm gonna try one last time if I cannot export it it means I have to re-edit the whole video which is going to take me one hour I guess so good times um, so I guess I'll do that first with my coffee so you guys luckily I think I was able to save the video um, and I think if I re-upload it now to YouTube, it's gonna work, so fingers crossed. Um, but I am gonna sit down now to edit the Yog uh, book haul because it got a bit longer than I thought. <laughs> I might have gotten a couple more books than I expected. Um, the thing is also, I only had hand luggage with me and I knew that I couldn't take so many books and I had already purchased a couple of books on Waterstones and Forbidden Planet because your girl cannot help herself and um, it's funny because when we were coming back my luggage was supposed to weight um, a maximum of 8 kilos and it was 16 so double <laughs> fun time so they had to check it in for me but they did it for free so I was relieved <laughs> that at least I didn't have to pay for the extra charge um, but yeah so I'm gonna sit down and edit that which is gonna take a little bit because there's a lot of books that I have to talk to you about and show you but I'm excited um, I think you know going to London just to go to the London Comic Con in Yelk is so worth it I was done at the end of it like really exhausted because we were walking all day through London city then to the comic con and everything and I also got a cold because every time I go to London that's what I get for free <laughs> free of charge and um yeah but I don't know if I can go every year because it you know turns out to be a little bit of expensive trip uh, with the flight and the hotel and everything um, but it's something that I definitely would love to do every year we'll see if I can do it next year as well um, and yeah, so now it's time for more coffee. I think I'm gonna chop up some fresh fruit and just snack on the fruit and edit the uh, yuck haul and I cannot wait you guys to see it. Interrupted my video editing because this is my cats every summer. They do what I like to call the cockroach. So they just lay on their backs 
<laughs> and tries to deal with the heat. How are we doing, Blakey, honey? How are we doing? Today is not such a hot day. Don't pretend now. And this is the belly. Look at those paws. I mean, I mean, come on. I don't understand people that don't like cats. Like, what's wrong with you? Okay, you guys. So I'm exporting the Yelk um, haul video. And it's going to take like 50 minutes to export because I bought too much stuff. And I was looking at this corner in my room. And it's bothering me. And I think I'm going to reorganize this in a way that I can use the space for more books. Because I am desperately trying to get more book space in my room. Um, I have a window up here. So I have... Um, my cat's little bed here that it's destroyed because they really love this bed. I mean, how cute is that? And they like to lay here, especially in winter. Now it's summer and it's kind of like hot, so they don't use it so much. Sometimes they both lay in here, even though it's a little bit small for both of them. So I leave this here for them. And here I need to reorganize this. This is like um, ideas for videos, um, planning for videos and all of that. Um, and for, you know... All of that stuff um, that I have to organize but as you can see it's not organized currently so I need to bring some order in here and maybe I will move it like here and make space for books but we will see we will see the final product I also need to clean because it's very dusty as you can see I have here a couple of uh, pillows including these Harry Potter head <laughs> <laughs> that I got because I had to but they're currently not being used so I think I'm gonna put them in somewhere until I have space for them to actually use them because they're just here there is a tutorial in there and they're a little bit useless behind all of these books so I can build up another row of books here on the back um, yeah and what you see here is my one of my tbr cards this one it's not really for tbr um it's mostly for like new books that i've purchased here the new books that i still have to haul i have here my september tbr though here's my full september tbr for the monster -athon. um and here i have the books that i am currently reading or that i have to read um so i'm in the middle of sleeping beauties as you can see i only have like one third uh, of the book down it's a very chunky book and because in August I'm going to Spain I'm mostly going to use ebook that's what there's nothing here normally it would be like my monthly TBR pile but the only two physical books that I am gonna read I'm already currently reading them so yeah I think um, I'm gonna try to clean up this space a little bit and show you the end product Okay, you guys, so this is how I left it for now because I still need to decide exactly what I want to do with it. But so far we have books <laughs> that I have to read. They are all hardcovers. I put them there. Then I have here a pile that is a horror slash mystery thrillers. And then I have here some more like contemporary or romances books. And here I have a very interesting pile. I'm thinking one day to make a video in which I try to read the first chapters of books that I am not sure I'm going to enjoy and see if I keep them or not. These are some of the titles that I picked up from my shelves, but I think there are more there that I'm not 100% sure I'm going to read them, at least not in the next couple of years so why keep them around and this edition of this book is the reason why I might be getting rid of it because the lettering you guys it is like minuscule is like so small just look at that it is so small that I think I would rather read it in a better edition where my eyes don't have to die and I don't know I just put this little thing here because I thought it was cute um, and I have some snow glows of Harry Potter Hermione and Ron so yeah for now uh, this is how I'm gonna leave this corner but I might change it up because you know we love to change things up alright you guys so break from productiveness from editing videos and organizing a little bit the apartment so I'm gonna read a graphic novel that I actually got from Ned Galley so it's on my Kindle and that is Divine Intervention and it is a graphic novel about um, I believe two different women that come from different backgrounds and have to team up to solve a murder or figure out a murder something like that I'm not sure that's what I remember <laughs> reading from the plot and then 
I'm gonna keep reading The Bright Test by Helena Hong because it's getting really juicy and interesting and I wanna read more. So we have finished Divine Intervention, the graphic novel, and um, I'm gonna give it a three star rating. I think it's my very basic rating for nearly all the graphic novels that I read, unless there's something a little bit more special. I always kind of rate them three, which I feel bad because it takes so much time and effort, you know, that it's put into these graphic novels. The graphics were great. Um, I also like the characters. Um, what I would have liked to see a little bit more is a bit more of the world and the stories. Uh, there were not too many background kind of um, drawings of the whole world and it felt more like uh, specific characters. Um, but it is the first uh, volume which is always, you know, a little bit tricky to make a really good first volume because most of it is just introducing the characters and the story and why they're doing what they're doing. So basically we're following a mix of very, you know, different characters that find themselves in the same quest which is to stop some murders and um, basically it was cute gonna give it three coffee mugs and I really like the um, long tooth bunny I thought that was really cute um, the the tooth the saber bunny or whatever they called it it was really cute um, and I don't know maybe I will at some point pick up volume 2 when it comes out but this one is coming out um, I believe in the month of August if I'm not wrong August September so um, it's still not even out yet but um, if you like fantasy kind of quest stories, uh, you'll definitely like this one. So you guys, I've been reading The Bright Test and really loving it. Um, it's getting really interesting because the characters are kind of getting used to each other. Uh, they are being pushed basically to be together and that's always kind of like a weird situation. This is not really like an arranged marriage but um, you can totally see the different, the different cultures where they come from even though they're both Vietnamese but she has been raised and living there uh, in a poor family and he's had you know the luxury of having a good life in the US and so it is also nice to see that contrast and then I took a nap for one hour <laughs> because I was dead and um, and this couch is very dangerous and I always fall asleep in this couch so the plan now is to make pizza. I have not had pizza in a long time, so I decided to buy something to make pizza today. I normally make it nearly from scratch because um, I'd rather do it myself than order pizza. Uh, it's a little bit healthier. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the pizza, probably going to show you how it looks like, the end result, in case you're interested. And then I guess I'll watch a movie or something while I eat my pizza and then I'll try to continue reading a little bit um, and see you know where our love story takes us okay so this is what we're working with we have the pizza dough I have some tomato sauce for the base um, then I have mushrooms I want to use a lot of them before they go bad then I have red bell pepper some fresh tomatoes. I do like fresh tomatoes on pizza. Might not be for everybody. I might also add some onion. We shall see. And then I have these uh, beta cheese um, for pizza, which is really good. It's my newest addiction now. It's not cheap, but it's good. So this is how the pizza looks like before going into the oven. I put the tomato sauce, mushroom, red bell pepper, um, the fresh tomatoes and some red onion and then I sprinkle some uh, vegan cheese on top um, yeah so this is how it looks like and now let's put it in the oven and this is how the end product looks like amazing nice we will see how much can I eat from this big pizza so fun fact I've never watched 16 candles I don't know why it just never came across my path on television or whatever and so I think I'm gonna give it a try because I don't know what to watch on Netflix. It's always a burden. You don't know what to watch. You kind of scroll for hours. <laughs> so I'm just gonna give this one a try. I think it might be one of the only 
80s like rom-coms that I have not watched yet so I'm gonna give this one a try and enjoy my uh, pizza and yeah let's do this good morning guys I just woke up <laughs> and it's Sunday already um, so last night I watched 16 candles while I had my pizza and it was okay it was actually really cute and it's so weird how different the movies were back then in the 80s and you could see all the tropes that it was kind of starting and all the tropes that are, came from movies like that that we still use nowadays in our romantic comedies so it was kind of interesting and um, I read a little bit more of the bright test I read until page 178 so we're officially 60% into the book which is good um, I might be able to even get to another romantic book before I go on holidays. The second one you chose after the bright test was um, Roomies I believe by Christina Lauren so that would be the one that I would pick up after this one if I finish it today or tomorrow because then I still have time to finish it before my holidays and not take the physical copy with me um, and I'm really enjoying this story right now we are getting to see a little bit more of our main character's problems with um, autism and how that kind of influences his life and why he is the way that he is. We're getting, you know, an explanation on why and how he likes things and uh, I really appreciate that. It does remind me a little bit of the Kiss Quotient in which there is also another um, disability that it is being portrayed another mental health um, and I really like these books because they're bringing awareness to certain people's problems you know to deal with relationships and other people and feelings and love and sex and it's something that it's out there and it's cool that Helen Hong is kind of bringing awareness and representation to those things so I'm really enjoying that part and uh, I'm still really enjoying the dynamics between the main characters and I also even like the side characters they're also pretty cool so right now I'm really enjoying it I'm already thinking in my head I'm gonna give it a four maybe even a four and a half depending how uh, the book progresses and I know a lot of people had um, mixed feelings about this book but I'm glad that I'm one of those that it's actually really enjoying it um, I guess it might be because I also really enjoyed the Kiss Quotient, which also a lot of people did not like. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely enjoying this book. So, coffee is brewing. We're all happy about that. And I have a new mug that I want to show you to see if you guys recognize where it is from. And it is this mug here. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. I thought I needed a mug like this. I thought it was necessary. So now I have it lovely i love it I, I just i love it i think i'm gonna take it to work <laughs> so that people know you know where i'm at so yeah um the plan today is yesterday was not as productive as i expected um and it is okay some days i'm not gonna be exactly as you plan some days your body is gonna need to recover from the week some days you're gonna need more sleep more relaxing etc and so today has to be extra productive so we're gonna get extra coffee um, and the plan is because I'm gonna go on holiday soon I know I keep on saying it but it's true I'm gonna go like in less than two weeks I think um, I need to leave a couple of videos for my channel so yeah the plan for today is that to try to do some videos for when I'm away um, I know that I don't have to I know that if I go on holidays you guys understand that I'm on holidays and I, I cannot post but I would like to leave some content on the channel also because at the end of the month I like to do my movies and books are coming next month and things like that and I would like to keep that consistent so I'm gonna try to record a couple of videos today and hopefully before I go on holidays I'm gonna have enough videos for both channels for when I'm away yeah so that's the plan for today to be extra productive that's my cat in the background crying if you can hear him He's a baby. He's probably in his uh, second midlife crisis because he's an old boy. So this is, guys, how I have to edit most of the time. I have this baby here and he comes and cries until I pick him up. Excuse me, sir. 
Mommy's editing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a couple of hours later, I was able to edit some videos. I've basically now edited all the videos that I had recorded or pre-recorded and I just sat down to record my um, London Comic Con haul except the books and this is how it looks like. It's really hot in this room right now because I was just recording so I'm gonna take a break now and I'm gonna have some lunch on, some healthy lunch and probably watch either some booktube or some netflix while i have lunch and then i might move on with some more recording and editing okay so we had lunch i recorded i edited the video that i had recorded i recorded a new video <laughs> and now i think i'm gonna go and have a bath because i deserve it and treat myself a little bit and put maybe some like face mask just treat myself for a little bit and then I can keep on reading my book while I'm in the bathtub and then you know just I need to wash my hair as well which is gonna take a little bit so we're gonna go and have a bath and read my book and I'll see you in the bathtub So you guys, the chicken are out. <laughs> I always let them uh, fly around a little bit while I'm having a bath. So they are in a safe space of my bathroom. Uh, my cats are outside of the room and they get to stretch their legs a little bit and to do some mischievous things. <laughs> but they're so cute. Yeah, babies, what's happening? There is Dante, my boy, the green and red one and Alice the blue and white one. Yes, I know. And they are just the cutest. Okay, so I'm all done with my reading. I made it to page 242, so we're getting to the end. It's getting emotional. It's hitting all the feels and I hope to be able to finish it today, but I also wanted to read more from um, The Diviners by Libba Bray because I'm a little bit behind on the pages that I have to read per day to be able to finish the book together with everybody else. So I might try to catch up with that later today as well. And now it's time to shower this messy hair, clean all of that, and then I think I'm gonna make some nice food because I'm hungry. Okay, so after the nice bath and shower and the nice food, I'm now tired and ready for bed. <laughs> but it's only 9 p.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the movie that I started from uh, Netflix, the Netflix original, The Otherhood. I was just in the mood for a simple comedy where I didn't have to think too much. And after that is over, I would like to finish The Bright Test by Helen Huang. And hopefully... I will make progress with The Diviners by Libra Bray because I am not currently um, at the page that I should be because uh, every day we get like an amount of pages that we have to read and since today I've been so busy I have not been able to make progress with this book so after the movie ends I'm gonna try to catch up with both books so wish me luck I'm watching a movie do you mind sir? excuse me Excuse me. It is Monday morning and I need to rush to catch my bus, but I wanted to end this weekend vlog. I know I've mostly just been home because <laughs> That's what this weekend uh, my plans were, just to be home and try to be productive. But I still hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I did some reading and I did finish last night um, The Bright Test by Helen Huang. And I'm going to give it, I think, four stars, four solid uh, coffee mugs. Because it was entertaining, it was cute, it was sad. Um, I did like the whole autism representation that it had and uh, it was fast-paced and I did like it. Like in most rom-coms, even in movies, the endings are always a little bit rushed. I always feel like the endings are a bit more rushed because the authors just 
when once you know the end they just want to end it I guess they don't want to take too much time with it but um, very enjoyable if you love the kiss quotient definitely pick this one up um, yeah so both novels by the author I've liked so I guess next time she puts up a novel it's gonna be an out to buy and I will check her third novel as well and yeah now it's time to go to work sadly <laughs> but it's okay there's coffee at work so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!